welcome back to Drawing for Kids. To start off, let's go over what material you'll need. You'll need some Crayola markers, which you can use any color markers that you like. Next, you also need some paper. In addition to that, you'll need some black markers, such as Sharpies. Okay, so as I'm going along, I'll go step by step on how to draw this character, but I really like to invite you to add your own little twist to it to make it your own. There's no pressure to necessarily draw exactly what I have, but let's use that as a guidance to see what we can come up with. As always, remember to add in a little bit of your imagination to make it your own. You can do this drawing with your family and friends, and at the end of it, maybe check out how everybody's drawing turn out at the very end. Are you ready? So, we're gonna get started. So today I'm gonna do a Pokemon from the Pokemon series, and it's a Pokemon from a Grass Poison group. Do you know what Pokemon it is? Well, let me tell you, it is Bulbasaur. So let's get started. We will first start with Bulbasaur's head. I'll do one year here, so like a triangle pointed end, and then another year on the other side. Next, I'm gonna do the rest of Bulbasaur's face. So here, I'm just gonna do a rounded, and here's his chin right here. So you can see he's like a very rounded character, not sharp edges. And here's Bulbasaur's mouth that I'll pull across at the bottom here. And then a little tooth here and another little tooth, which is like two small triangles. Next, I'll do another slit here, which is going to be the bottom of his mouth. And then we have both of Sora's mouth right there. Next, I'm going to do his eyes. You can see there's one rounded eye here, another rounded eye over here. Okay, just so, so you can see it's like a triangle, but like not sharp corners. I'm gonna draw a line in the middle. It's a curved line to show where the dark colors and the pupil of the eye is gonna be. We're gonna color that in later on. And then on the center, I'm gonna do a little bit of a oval just to show where the white glistening will be. Now we're gonna do some markings on his forehead, some triangles, some rectangles just some odd shapes if you like it can be a little bit playful here and use your imagination you can do a star or a heart shape on him as well and then two little nostrils right in the middle of his face then i'm going to do his front arms of course he has these little white claws like little small triangles and then i'm going to do a little bit more markings on his front paw that's his chest right there Next will be his other paw, of course, a little bit of claws in the front here. So you can see our Bulbasaur is coming together quite nicely. Don't forget to add those little markings on him. And make him a little bit unique. Like you don't have to have your markings exactly the same place or same shape as mine. That's what makes your Bulbasaur different from my Bulbasaur, right? Here's the hind leg. Again, a little bit more markings on the back. Do a diamond there and then little triangles for the claws on the back of his leg and then a little bit more on his back as well maybe a pentagon or different types of shape of course i can't forget the giant bulb on the back of bulbasaur so we'll do that if you want you can add on the tentacles or like the plant vines that come out of the back of the bulb of the Bulbasaur, so it's really up to you. I think it's helpful to make each individual unique and um, tell the story that is specific for you. So if you like, you can have your Bulbasaur be very happy, very sad, could be like at a birthday party holding balloons or like could have many different smaller Bulbasaurs hanging around, could be a whole family of them, or it could be using his mouth and holding on to a lollipop because Maybe Bulbasaur really likes sweets. Or maybe like holding on to a flower. So I'm just thinking of different ideas for you to add a little bit of something special for your drawing. Here I'm using a green marker to color in the markings. 
Of course, if you like, you can use different colors as well. You don't have to necessarily use the conventional colors that they use for the Pokemon series. You could have pink markings or purple markings or have rainbow color markings. I think that would be really cool for Bulbasaur as well. Here for the bulb on the back, I'm using this olive green color. Of course, you can also create patterns on the Bulbasaur's bulb as well. You can have polka dots or stripes or checkers or like have heart markings on the back. Those are all different ideas you can consider making for your Bulbasaur drawing so that it's something unique for you or maybe unique for whoever you're gifting this drawing to. Perhaps you're gifting this drawing to your favorite teacher or your mom and you know her favorite color is purple. So you may want to add a lot of purple to your drawing. Or you can have Bulbasaur hold on to a banner uh, on the back and it could say a special message. Let's say it's a birthday for your best friend and you want to write down happy birthday and Bulbasaur is holding on this banner with one of its arms. So that's another idea you can consider when you're thinking of like what kind of additional marks or like what additional ideas you can add to just a regular Bulbasaur drawing. Here for the pupil of the eyes, I'm using a red color and of course you can see I'm leaving that little bit of white space in the middle eye to show where the light glistens off of it. I think it really makes a big difference. Of course, if you don't like the red color eyes, you can always use blue color or whatever your favorite color is. Now I have this tur turquoise color that I'm using to color in the years and also the rest of the body. I'm just using regular Crayola markers, but of course you can use pencil crayons, you can use wax crayons, whatever that works for you. I really enjoy coloring because it's nice to try out different combinations of different colors. Sometimes I try to color within the lines and sometimes I try to get adventurous and color outside the lines. Here I'm trying to make sure that I'm coloring all the extra spaces in between so I don't leave any white marks from the back of the paper shown. So just taking my time and enjoying that. I hope you've been enjoying this Pokemon series that I've been drawing on a weekly basis. I would love to get any ideas from you guys um, on other drawings you would like me to include or other animations, cartoons that you really like to learn to draw the characters for. I would love to hear from you. So far, I've been doing a lot of Pokemons. I think I might take a little break from Pokemon unless there are special requests for particular Pokemons you would like me to draw. In which case, let me know. I think coming up, I'm going to do some series on different types of animals and hopefully like drawings that will be good that you can use to get for your grandma or your aunt for special occasions. Uh, those are some of the ideas that I am coming up with. And of course, I'm taking requests from my children themselves on animals they like, including penguins and bears and maybe some holiday related topics. I know that like Easter, Christmas and Valentine's are popular holidays where people often draw and then pass on their drawings to their loved ones. So that's that. You can see uh, I'm almost wrapped up here with Bulbasaur. Just finished coloring the turquoise for his entire body. Next, of course, I still need to color in inside the mouth of Bulbasaur. Right now it's white, so I'm going to grab my pink and color in the pink for the inside of Bulbasaur's mouth. Like I mentioned before, you can use your imagination and you can other, add other characters or like colors or like maybe there's something that he's holding on to in the middle of his mouth. That's a great idea to consider as well. Do you think Bulbasaur eats fish? I wonder what Bulbasaur's favorite food is. That is something that I never really thought about until I started doing this drawing, trying to figure out, hmm, what would be inside Bulbasaur's mouth? And then here, I'm just using a gray marker to add in the shadows on the bottom here. This is something extra. You don't necessarily need to do the step, but I think it adds a little dimension to the piece. And here we are, our Bulbasaur. Isn't he adorable? Well, thank you so much for joining me on this video on drawing for kids as we do the step-by-step -step drawing of Bulbasaur from the Pokemon series. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, 
Stay safe and stay creative, everyone. Bye for now.